We first need to download the Jersey jar files and then place them within the lib folder of the Tomcat installation we use. Then we should create a new web application. In my case, I chose to name it Gerso. And within the web.xml file, defines a new servlet. We can name it with any name we choose, but it should be this very specific class that was already defined for us as part of the Jersey uh, project. Here we should also um, pass over init param parameter to this servlet, and this should be the name, and its value should be the package where uh, we placed our classes. In this code sample we have only one class, this is the class, and it belongs to this package. Then we should also specify the URL pattern that maps with the new servlet, uh, the servlet that belongs to Jersey project, so that any URL address that um, ends with uh, rest we could choose any any string we want. Uh, let's uh, keep it rest. Any URL address that ends with uh, rest, um, no matter um, what comes after, will be redirected redirected to this servlet. This way, the class we define will be taken care by this servlet. Here we define a class, we specify the path that will invoke this RESTful web service this class represents. We can specify that we are dealing with a RESTful web service that is being invoked using the GET HTTP method. Uh, we can also use the annotation PRODUCE to specify that the output is uh, just uh, simple text. And here the, the method we marked with uh, strudel get will be, will be the one that will be invoked so that here when I try to access uh, the URL address for my server I specify the port and then the web application following with uh, rest slash and the word hello this is the outcome.